how small people are. Beautiful. Okay, what are we doing here? We're doing a full Scottish fried breakfast. Mm. Lots of ways of doing this, but today, shall we go through the ingredients we've got? Sure. Okay, so let's start with the meat. We have some good quality sausages. We have some haggis slices, very Scottish, and we have some good quality black pudding slices. Cool. Some eggs. Bacon. Yep, unsmoked. Mm-hmm. And for our five portions a day, we have some uh, rather fancy cherry tomatoes, some big mushrooms, and a spot of thyme to spruce things up. Okay. So we don't need much oil because the sausages we've got are good quality. There's plenty in there, and it'll soon come out. It's quite fatty already. Yes. And then we are using rapeseed oil. That's right. So let's get those sausages in to start with. Turn these regularly and stop them burning. At the same time, we're going to cook mushrooms. Put a little bit of oil in there. Mm -hmm. We cook. And the butter for the flavour. We put the butter in on its own. It's just going to uh, burn too easily. Yeah. Let's get those mushrooms in there. Um, the sausages are going to take a bit longer, so they've been in there for a couple of minutes. Time to fit in the other meat-based ingredients, which is the black pudding and the haggis. These are going to need about six to eight minutes turning regularly. Mm -hmm. Smells delicious. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure we turn these regularly so that they don't burn, even on a moderate heat. Nicely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Get the tomatoes in with that lovely thyme infused oil. Nice. So let's make sure these are all turned regularly. That's going well, it's not burning, see? A very fundamental ingredient, the potato, or as we say, the tatty, tatty scones. Just get a couple of these in. Put some butter in there. Turned it once already. Yeah, they're looking about done. 
Mm, nice going. color. You need to go brown, that's right. Dear. Yes. Let's get these plated up. Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Legs are almost done, sunny side up.